Hey Harmonizers! Welcome to an episode of the Adventures of Evelyn on the Farm. And you get to kind of see our construction of our house edition going on in the background at the same time. So this is little Evelyn here doing some puppy duty. Where um, So we actually breed Pembroke Welsh Fluffy Corgis. That's Felicity, the mama doggo there. And so they all come into the house at night and then in the summertime... When we have puppies, they go out into um, the dog kettle area during the day so they get some fresh air and sunlight and whatnot. So we're taking them out in the wagon together. Uh, we like corgis because they're really compact dogs, but they're still kind of a big dog that's not too big. Uh, like they're kind of hardy and they can do agility and all sorts of things. And they're, they're really friendly dogs, really cuddly dogs, really smart dogs. And so we just kind of got into breeding corgis over the years and, and love them a lot. So here's some cute stuff here. Oh, they're crying. They're crying. Oh, good Aww. job. Good job. Okay. 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 So Evelyn's learning how to be kind with the puppies. And I'm going to speed up this footage here as we make our way over to the puppy kennel area. And I know it may come up, you know, why do you breed dogs when there's so many dogs that are in rescues and things like that. And if you want to rescue a dog, 100%, I'm all for that. Go for it. Um, that's a great thing to do. If we didn't have breeders, we wouldn't have certain breeds of dogs or horses or things like that. So we choose to um, breed so that way we have corgis and fluffy corgis. Uh, just like if there's certain breeds of horses like Frisians and Andalusians that just don't show up in rescues and that type of thing. And uh, if you didn't have breeders, then we wouldn't get to enjoy those breeds. So I see that there's a purpose for, um, for both. And, uh, but absolutely, shelter dogs and shelter animals, I think there's a, a place and a purpose for uh, both sides. And, uh, and that's great if that's the route that you want to go. So anyways, here we are now placing the puppies into their little kennel area. So their kennel area has an indoor and an outdoor spot. And so we're putting them in the indoor portion and then they can go to the outdoor spot if they want to. And as you can see, little Miss Evelyn is doing a pretty good job of helping to pick them up, except for right there when she accidentally goes to grab the neck. So uh, she's pretty good though. She, she normally picks them up by their bellies and knows how to hold them. So she's learning how to be gentle with the puppies. And really, she's just wanting to uh, copy everything that mommy and daddy do. So it's pretty easy to teach her things. And I know people say terrible twos and stuff like that. But really, I'm enjoying this uh, stage. She just wants to copy and do everything that we can do. The only time that it gets a little bit uh, scary is when um, she wants to do things that, you know, wouldn't be safe for her to do. And then convincing her that um, only mummy can do it is, is the harder part. So that is dropping off the puppies in their little kennel area. And then here's a little look at feeding the chickens. We don't have a lot of chickens. We just have a little flock to have our own farm fresh eggs. We don't uh, sell them or produce them in any type of quantity or anything. But those are some of our little chickens there. So everyone's feeding them. I'm going to toss the little scoop back in their little house. So everybody's got their own little house. Feeding the chickens in the morning. And then we're going to go feed the horses. Just going to grab some hay there. Uh, most of our horses have round bale hay with slow feeder nets. But for her pony and uh, Elon, who's turned out with her pony right now, they get uh, a tossed flake of hay in the morning and in the evening and then they have a little bit of hay in a slow feeder net as well just to try to reduce how much 
they're getting because they are ponies and we don't want to have laminitis or anything like that. And they live in a dry lot field with no grass so that way they don't get laminitis, which is uh, definitely a concern for ponies and things like that. So here's Evelyn out in the field feeding her little pom pon out here. She always likes to go over and give her pony a pat on the belly. And then I have to explain to her that Elon does not want a pat on the belly. So we don't go over to pat Elon yet. We just go over and, and say hello nicely at his face. But we don't go over and pat his belly since he is one of my Mustangs that is still getting used to people. <laughs> Here's a little look around the farm. Um, you guys have been asking for a farm tour, which I'll put together something a little bit more formal later, but I wanted to share with you guys her playground and a little bit of her two-year-old birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Evelyn. Happy birthday to you. So this was her second birthday celebration. So this was after kind of lockdown restrictions were lifted. And so these are her cousins that are over and she's sharing her pony with her cousins. They're all going to take turns and have a little pony ride on her pony. And uh, that was my family that was over for her birthday. And I did not make those cupcakes, which I'm sure you did not have to guess about if you saw Evelyn's last video where I showed you guys the cake that I made for her birthday. Um, yeah, nobody's nobody's praising my cake decorating skills. So here's Evelyn on her pony for her little pony birthday ride. And then her little cousins got to have a, a turn afterwards doing some of her favorite things like the noodles. She loves doing the noodles with her little pony who uh who now has a we got her a custom uh fusion halter so she has one of the fusion halters as well now which is the rope halter leather cheek piece combo which are really nice for leading and riding and just makes things a lot easier so we love her little pony she's definitely a saint and did amazing with everybody running around and she's just such a little sweetheart so everybody got to do two laps around the arena. So we, we definitely take it pretty easy on her. She's such a, a saint little pony. We're pretty happy to have her. And, uh, and Evelyn's learning all about different parts of, uh, she knows saddle and stirrups and reins, all sorts of little things she's learning how to do. So hope you guys enjoyed seeing Evelyn on her farm adventures and thanks for watching.